Um, at the entry level or at the beginner's stage of YouTube content creation, all you need to know are some of the basic steps that is required to starting, growing and succeeding a YouTube channel if you are a beginner. But if we are to look at it from the professional perspective, that's if we are to look at YouTube content creation from the professional perspectives, YouTube content creation actually comes in six different steps, which is actually get started, get going, get good, get smart, monetize, and then scale. Okay, let's take it again. Get started, get going, get good, get smart, monetize, and then scale. These are the basic six steps. If we are to look at it from the professional's perspective, maybe if you give such steps to me, I will easily understand what you are trying to explain. But for beginners, this is really, really complicated. But these are equally the same steps you need to follow as a beginner. But these steps need to be broken down into some sub steps for you in order for you to understand how YouTube really works. As a beginner, all you need is just steps. You don't need to, you know, start going through the complicated aspects of YouTube content creation, maybe trying to understand YouTube algorithm, the YouTube SEO or whatsoever at this point. No, we need to just follow the steps. And these steps are what you need to go and start making research on in order to, you know, take it as a blueprint on growing your own YouTube channel. It's very simple. So the first step is actually, you know, getting started, which happens to be the most difficult stage or the most difficult part of YouTube content creation for beginners. When I started my YouTube channel, like, wow, <laughs> I wasn't ready. You know, I was kind of still, you know, contemplating, thinking, can I do this? Not until I finally took the bold step and, you know, hit the record button, recorded my first video and uploaded it to YouTube. And I discovered that it was a normal thing. Then I started you know creating more content so let's take a quick look at the first step which is actually getting started then we'll break it down to some of the sub steps i think it's about eight different sub steps on only get started alone so you need to be very very attentive if possible pick up a pen let's join it together my name is daniel anthony what i do on this youtube channel is make sure i help any of my interested viewer you know make money online or build a sustainable stream of income that is you know um that is capable of lasting for a lifetime because you watching this video i believe you want to make money today you want to make money tomorrow and you want to make money a day after tomorrow so building a sustainable stream of income online is what you need to look out for even as a beginner as a professional or as um somebody who is you know, not too old or not too new in the online money making industry. You need to look out for sustainability because um, that's what will really keep you in the game. And YouTube content creation happens to be one of the, you know, um, method of making money online that are proving itself to be sustainable or that are proving itself to remain sustainable. YouTube has come and YouTube has come to stay. So if you want to make money online sustainably, YouTube content creation is what you need to give a thought. So taking on our step number one, which is actually getting started, you know, um, the sub step number one again, because now it's step number one, right? Then we are breaking it down to sub steps. So pick up a pen if you want to you know learn everything i want to explain in this video then the sub step number one is actually creating a gmail yes that's it it's very simple to create a gmail anybody can create a gmail so create a gmail because without a gmail you won't have a youtube channel then the next step is actually creating your own youtube account it's very simple i have a video about that the link will be in this video description below so go and watch it and learn how to create a youtube channel or a youtube account okay then step number three i know most people tell you hey the next thing now is to actually pick a niche after i might have you know started a youtube channel you now created a youtube channel the next thing is to pick a niche no you don't have to pick a niche first you have to go and learn video editing skill because in the age of digital skill is taking over and anybody who does not have a digital skill cannot make money online or will not even be able to make money online sustainably well you might make money online maybe from investing and the rest of them but if you do not have a digital skill there is no assurance that you make money online sustainably. So go and acquire a digital skill before you think of picking a niche that you want to start creating content on, on your YouTube channel. Then the next step is actually, you know, um, mastering some graphic design skills. Yeah, you need to design your thumbnail. You need to master your graphic design skills. Um, you need to go and learn how to use maybe Photoshop, Canva to design YouTube thumbnail. But all of those stuff are what I'll be talking about on this YouTube channel because now our goal is to actually help any of our interested audience, you know, make money online sustainably or build a sustainable stream of income that is capable of lasting for a lifetime. And that's why we have, you know, created a Facebook group known as the Creatives Family where we relate together 
together as one family that are into content creation or that are into the you know journey of trying to build a sustainable stream of income online i've been in this space for quite some years now and i know all it takes or i won't say i know all it takes i know some of the things that is required to you know building a sustainable stream of income online so you have to listen to me then after you know um getting your video editing skill getting your graphic design skill then the next step will be learning how to you know edit youtube videos yeah you might be a very good editor but there is a way to edit youtube videos because you need to look out for the copyright policies you need to look out for so many things most especially the copyright policies because you need to look out for the perfect sound that do not have you know um, copyright um claim then you are the type of creator that love using background music you need to get a very nice background music that do not have you know um, copyright claims on them so that you won't fall victim of copyright you know of copyrighted content after uploading your video to youtube so you need to learn how to edit youtube videos i think i have a video on how to edit youtube videos with adobe premiere pro still the video will be left in this video link description below so make sure you check it out so that you learn how to edit um youtube videos so if you want to learn your video editing skill like i mentioned not quite long please make sure you go for adobe premiere pro because that's our recommended industry you know standard of video editing software that i want to start working with on our channel from now henceforth so now after acquiring your graphic design skill learning how to edit youtube videos then the next step will be learning how to design a youtube channel banner yes um there are so many tutorials online you can watch youtube videos how to design a youtube channel banner it's not a big deal i think my one of my video where i talked about how to create a youtube channel in that video i even you know showed you guys how to you know create a youtube banner so make sure you check out that video in order not to be left out the link will equally be left in this video description below so we have been doing a lot for quite some time now so if you have been following us up i believe you might have been you know tapping from all of the juice that we have been spilling out okay so now after you know mastering how to design a youtube banner because you need to design a youtube banner for your channel because youtube banner is what people sees first whenever they visit your channel you know your youtube banner need to look professional enough then after you know designing your youtube banner you need to customize and optimize your channel like putting your profile picture you know i'm um, writing your channel description um you know doing a lot of stuff your channel description um your basic settings your tag settings your description settings your upload default settings and so on and so forth so you need to optimize it in my youtube video where i talked about how to create a youtube channel it's equally there i showed how to optimize a youtube channel from a to z so watch the video link below okay after optimizing your youtube channel then we move on to step number two which is actually get going after getting started you might have you know gone through all of these um sub steps that i listed not quite long you need to move on to step number two which is actually get going now you have gotten started you need to get going you won't stop because youtube content creation is a journey when i started i thought maybe along the line to get to a studio i'll create content then i'll have enough content and then i'll start resting no it never worked the more you rest the more your youtube channel goes down so you have to keep going in order to you know make your channel remain sustainable then on step number two then sub step number one on step number two which is actually get going you need to record edit and upload your first video to your youtube channel yeah now you know how to edit a youtube video you know how to edit a youtube thumbnail now you need to record your first video very important yeah you won't leave your channel empty a video must be uploaded so record edit and upload your very first video then on sub step number two for step two which is actually get going you need to learn how to optimize your youtube video in the aspect of you know title video title description tags seo in order for it to rank on you know google searches okay what do i actually mean by this you know seo actually means search engine optimization it is what controls the, the internet literally if your video is not well optimized um the youtube algorithm will not you know pick up your video based on the keyword that it's, it's ranking for so you need to optimize the video very well if you are maybe um, creating a content on sports you need to optimize it with sports hashtag sports related keywords sport related titles sport related description in order for it to rank it's very simple to actually optimize the video so you just have to follow the seo processes okay i'll be doing more video about that later on in the future but if there's anything you want me to still talk about on seo how to you know optimize the video properly please drop the comments in the comment section below i'm always available then moving on to sub step number three is actually recording and uploading 30 experimental videos okay this is what i actually call the youtube experimental stage at this point you just have to record 30 videos do not worry um they should be random or they can be random if you know what the type of content you want to start creating on because picking a niche is not something you can actually you know figure out at the early stage of youtube it's impossible anybody that tells you that it's easy to uh, pick a niche 
that's not it because there are ways to pick a niche. I will later talk about how to pick your niche in this video. So just stay with me. Then after re recording and uploading 30 random videos that are still related to, you know, the type of content you want to start creating, you just upload it there and I call it the YouTube experimental process. Then take a look at what happens. Take a look at the video that's doing better. Take a look at the one that's not doing better or the one that's not doing good. Then you know what to do next from there. Then that takes us to sub step number four, which is actually understanding what a YouTube niche is. Yeah, a YouTube niche is more like a category or an area of specialization or a specific segment or a specific um, category rather that you want to start creating content on. Like me, I'm in the online money making niche. I create content around making money online. You know, YouTube content creation is a way of making money online. So I can equally, you know, talk about YouTube content creation on my channel. So if you want to start creating content about maybe uh, personal lifestyle, you know, um, personal self-development and all of those stuff. So you need to stay on self-development related topics whenever you are creating content for your channel. So that's a niche. A niche is an area of specific um, concentration for content creation or for, you know, content dishing out. So you need to dish out content on specific areas that have similar topics in one way or the other, maybe similar description, similar tags, talking about the same thing. So you, your, your content must in one way or the other be related, okay, in order not to get your audience confused. So now you have understand what a YouTube niche is. There is another one called, that takes us to sub step number five. There is another one called the YouTube sub niche. Um, this is where, you know, picking your niche actually comes into play. If you do not understand, you might understand what a YouTube niche is. Even if you understand what a YouTube niche is, you are not yet ready to, you know, pick a niche until you understand what is called YouTube sub niches. YouTube sub niches are those broken down categories in your niche. Just like in my own online money making niche, um, affiliate marketing is a sub niche. YouTube content creation is a sub niche. CPA marketing is a sub niche. Um, video editing is a sub niche. So you have to spot out some of these sub niches because you can't cover the entire niche. Imagine me trying to create content on the general make money online topics. I will definitely burn out. So I need to pick out some area of specialization in order for me to gain authority in that particular area. So you need to learn how to pick sub niches. So let's say you want to talk about general health. Um, you want to talk, you want to start, you know, creating health related content. It could be, um, 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 fitness, it could be uh, weight loss, it could be, um, dieting. So you need to be specific on the sub niches in your niche so that you'll be able to stay more focused and not get distracted or confused along the line. So that's sub niches categories or more, more like sub categories of your niches. That's what sub niches are. Then moving on to sub step number six is actually, you know, learning how to pick um your niche from your sub niches like i explained not quite long it i've already explained itself all um you just have to pick um the subcategories of your niche pick from the subcategories of your niche just like now we have already rebranded on this channel now we are focusing more we have narrowed down on some of the major sub niches that are discoverable to help us you know build a sustainable stream of income online which is actually video editing most especially with adobe premiere pro then we now dissect into you know youtube content creation and monetization they will now dissect into you know social media management um specifically with Facebook and LinkedIn. Okay, then we'll now talk about freelance video editing, um, either offline or online. So these are the way or the narrow path we want to follow in the make money online industry to actually help us build a sustainable stream of income online. So that's how you quality need to think about your own niche, narrow down on some of the sub niches and move on in that path. That's how you easily succeed as a YouTube content creator. Then um, sub step number four is actually, you know, now picking out the niche from the sub niches you have picked based on the topic you love creating content on. So being the fact that there are several sub niches that will be available on the specific niche you have picked, you equally need to understand that which one do, do I love? Like me, I love YouTube content creation, I love video editing, I love social media management. So that's why I actually picked it and that's what I want to use as our content roadmap for you know succeeding our brand and our goal and mission with this channel so you need to pick what you like yeah the sub niches you love the one you know you can sustain and you know keep grinding on keep pushing our content on so that's for that um picking the sub niches that is related to be to the topic you love creating content on so that's it that's how you easily pick your niche it's very simple but some people not you know explain it in detail to you just like this then moving on to sub step number nine is actually um, consistently creating 20 videos. You know, there's a way of creating content. You can create content maybe uh, once a week, twice a week, but as a starter, you need to push it out consistently. You can push out 20 content in two weeks and, you know, optimize all of those content to make sure they rank for SEO and then observe what happens along the line from there. Then you keep on pushing again. Then sub step number 10 is to actually analyze all of the videos 
after 30 days. So this YouTube content creation journey is a thing of process. You know, you need to analyze all of this video that you uploaded after 30 days because that's when you get the actual metrics. Um, all of the data to be available by then, the total watch time hour, the total click through rate. Um, that's when you actually get all of the basic um, data that the videos that you uploaded will provide for you so you need to be patient after 30 days you check then you know what to do what to adjust what not to adjust the type of content to proceed on the type of content to start creating more topics on in order to keep on pushing the channel so that's for that then, uh, moving on to sub step number 11 on our step number two which is actually get going is to you know actually create and upload more videos on the videos that did very well after you have analyzed them for 30 days um, create more content on that particular ones that did well let's say you uploaded 30 now then 10 did well create more content related to that 10 that did very well that doesn't mean that you should just entirely forget about those ones that didn't really do well maybe there is a way you can tweak it you know do more keyword research on those particular you know topics in order to create more content that will be capable of ranking as well that are related to those topics that didn't rank well initially so that's for that then you observe the entire process and enjoy the journey moving on to step number three is actually get good yeah on youtube youtube really wants you to be good yeah you have to be good with youtube thumbnails you have to be good with youtube video editing you have to be good with you know camera um personality you need to be good with charisma you need to be good with um you know comedy <laughs> but i'm not the funny type though i won't say i'm the funny type um well i'm the funny type when i was in school back then I used to be very funny um so um you need to get good yeah because youtube really wants you to get good then on the sub steps of the get good steps which is step number three the sub step number one is actually learn and master the entire process of creating a quality youtube videos what does it really take to create a quality youtube video well um what youtube really counts as a quality video is a video that has a very you know good audio sound because audience can see through a bad video um picture quality but they cannot see through a bad audio quality nobody wants to listen to your bad audio quality so make sure you go for um maybe good microphones if you live in a place that's very noisy you can wait till maybe night time you record at dead night where everywhere is calm so you need to be very observant of your audio your audio must be very good that's for that then picture quality we shouldn't you know um take picture quality out of the whole thing you probably need to have um good phones even if you are recording a youtube video with your phone you need to make sure it's a very good iphone or a very good brand phone that has good camera or go for a very affordable you know video camera that is capable of giving you a very nice picture quality then you take down to you know editing your editing skills should be cool you know you should learn how to use um nice effect nice transition test and you know animations you know um nice background music b-rolls where necessary and all of those stuff so that's how easy it is to make a youtube video so if you want me to you know walk you through or create a content on the entire process of creating a very nice youtube content or youtube video editing the whole process and all of those stuff please drop your comments in the comment section below i will respond to it and i'll create the video if you want me to okay so that's for that learn the entire process of creating a quality youtube video because youtube wants you to get good if not they will not you know really really recommend you or recommend your channel and your content okay so i didn't realize this when i actually got started now i'm telling you this this is a secret please implement it it will help you then moving on to sub step number two is to actually learn the entire process of creating a quality nice or good youtube thumbnail youtube thumbnail is actually the key to you know getting your video clicked on and watched if your youtube thumbnail is not attractive enough or it's not you know enticing enough people will not click on it neither will they watch your content so you need to be very good at youtube thumbnail design you can use adobe photoshop that's what i use and that's what i recommend and that's what i teach with on my channel you need to use adobe photoshop but canva is equally there you can use canva but in absence of adobe photoshop because adobe photoshop happens to be a paid version software that you think you have to be renewed every month you can go for photopea which is more like adobe photoshop as well it's a substitute to adobe photoshop that you can actually you know lay your hand on it's a free software get it and design a, a nice youtube thumbnail okay that's what youtube wants from you then sub step number three on step three is to actually learn and understand youtube seo and its importance for your channel growth yeah youtube seo like i said seo means search engine optimization what actually happens in search is what goes on with seo okay if your content is not really optimized well for seo your content will not be you know showcased on search results uh, maybe it's only when people that have subscribed to your channel you know see the video that's when they watch or they get notification from your uploads that's when they watch but youtube um search engine recommendation is what really really push out your content or you know um or suggested feed so that's how you equally get more 
you know, views, but you need to be very good with SEO optimization. Your tags, your title, you need to do keyword research on your title before creating a content on that particular title. You need to, you know, write a very nice description. You can take on to, um, you know, AI chatbot like ChatGPT and, you know, write a very nice YouTube description with it. You know, op optimize it with tags. Make sure your video is airtight before you push it out. SEO will actually love it and they'll push it out for you the more. Substep number four is actually learning and understanding what the YouTube algorithm is and its importance to your channel. Um, the YouTube algorithm can be your worst enemy as a YouTube content creator and the YouTube algorithm can equally be your best friend as a YouTube content creator because the YouTube algorithm is the engine room of YouTube content creation. It's what controls YouTube in general. It's, an, it's more like a programmed AI. So now you have to study an AI as a YouTube content creator. So you see the whole process, it's not easy. You have to study an AI that you don't even know how this AI was programmed, you don't know anything about it. Even YouTube themselves haven't still revealed much about the YouTube algorithm to content creators. They keep on telling us that uh, they don't really even understand the YouTube algorithm that they created. The YouTube algorithm is what is responsible for, you know, pushing out your content, suggesting your content. It's more like it's in charge of the SEO of YouTube and other parts of YouTube as well. So it's in charge of pushing out your content, making sure your content gets suggestion, gives your video impression in order for your video to get viewed, subscribers comes in and all of that. So if you optimize your video very well, because Algorithm work with optimization. That's why I said it's in control of SEO. So if your video is well optimized and airtight, algorithm will love you and algorithm will push you and make sure you are in a specific sub niche that you have picked out so that algorithm will understand that oh, this is the type of content this person creates and the algorithm will know the right audience to actually pick for that particular you know content. So that's how it actually works. Then stop step number five is actually learning what YouTube keyword research is and its importance to your channel growth. Yeah, YouTube keyword research. Like I said, before you create a particular video, make sure you do keyword research on that particular title. There are so many keyword research to both paid and free out there that you can lay your hand upon to actually run some, you know, basic keyword research for a video content before, you know, um, pushing out that particular type of content because you need to check out the search volume, the competitor volume and all of those stuff, the keyword ranking, um, how many times it gets searched on, you know, a monthly basis and all of those stuff, the total search volume in general, you need to understand, you know, YouTube keyword research and how it works. Um, for the free um, keyword research tool, you can actually use Google Trend, you can use AskThePublic.com, then for the paid, um, you know, tools, you can use tools like VidIQ and TubeBuddy, they are all, you know, very good keyword research tool for any type of topic you want to create content on. So they'll give you the right guide if to create a content on that particular topic or not. Number six is actually learning and understanding what YouTube similar metadata is and how it can actually contribute to your general or entire channel growth. YouTube similar metadata is more like um, a chain that you use to band all of your content together in the aspect of similar keywords, similar tags, and similar title. Okay, it's equally, it equally has to do with your optimization. Your optimization is what amounts to your similar metadata similar metadata the name already explains itself okay so that's just it then moving on to step seven which happens to be the last step on uh, step three is actually learning what youtube copyright claims is and its danger to your channel like i said mastering how to create a youtube um quality content or mastering how to create a very good youtube video you need to look out for you know avoiding copyright claims which mostly occur when you use music or when you use copyrighted music or when you use clips or content that are not yours for creating content that you want to upload to your channel. So you need to be very careful of YouTube copyright claim. Avoid using music that are not your own. Avoid using videos that are not your own for creating content that you want to upload to YouTube. It happened to me, I was using Creative Commons um, content to create um, content once, I think that was two or three years, three years ago. I got demonetized after creating 88 videos. I lost all of the whole thing, lost all of my watch hour and started again. It, wow, it was a pain in my heart then, but I just have to, you know, Keep moving because i love youtube content creation so that's for that then moving on to step number four which is actually get smart yeah so at this point of youtube content creation you really really need to learn how to be smart because smartness is what really really make you stand out and make you stand as an authority in your niche you have to be smart with whatever thing you are doing do not be a dollar like blah, 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 blah. no 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 you have to be very very smart okay um then on sub step number one for our step number four which is actually get smart is actually learning the youtube content strategy and its importance to your channel growth what is YouTube content strategy? A YouTube content strategy is um, more like a plan that you have set to actually achieve a goal with your channel. Okay, let me take a case study with our own 
YouTube channel or with my own YouTube channel. My YouTube content strategy is this. I put video editing as the base foundation of my YouTube channel. Then after video editing, I transcend down to YouTube content creation with the video editing skill. This is how I teach my students. You master video editing first, then we take you down to YouTube content creation. Do not worry, we will teach you everything about YouTube content creation, but you must be a video editor before you can think of becoming a YouTube content creator. If nobody has told you this, I'm telling you this now. Then after you know taking you down to YouTube content creation, we'll teach you how to grow a YouTube channel, how to monetize your YouTube channel, how to start making money online with it sustainably. Then we'll equally teach you how to you know take your business to other social media platforms like you know Facebook. And LinkedIn, where you can equally reach a mass number of audience and people that is capable of, you know, patronizing you or consuming your content. So, social media management is important, and we picked just two social media platforms that want to focus on on the social media management section um, of our content strategy, which is LinkedIn and Facebook. Now, after that, we move on to, you know, freelance video editing because we have already mastered video editing right so we can become a freelance video editor if you don't want to create youtube channel you don't want to become a youtube content creator let's say you're another type on facebook you can become a facebook content creator as you all know now facebook is monetizing in some country but some of this african country like nigeria where i live is still ineligible but i still have some facebook page that i'm growing that are already approaching monetization i have plans for them and i know how to monetize them when the time comes so if you're with me i will equally know how to monetize yours for you so like I said now, you have mastered video editing, right? You can go for freelancing, either offline or online. You shouldn't only do freelancing online because Fiverr is there now, we know, but it's saturated. You can do offline, make money. I know of a girl who works with four different companies for, um, as a video editor and she's making cool cash offline. She doesn't even work online. Another does she have a YouTube channel because she's a video editor, but now she's making money as a video editor as offline freelance service. Okay, so that's just it. Okay, so that's for YouTube content strategy. It's your plan, a goal, more like a map, a roadmap that you set towards achieving your goal with your YouTube channel. Content strategy is very necessary. Go and learn how to develop a content strategy. I will equally create a content about that as we proceed because we just newly rebranded and we'll be coming up with more reasonable and decent content that will walk us through you know, the process of building a sustainable stream of income online. Then, um, sub step number two on our step four, which is actually get smart, is understanding what a YouTube content calendar is. You need to develop a YouTube content calendar for yourself. A YouTube content calendar is more like um, a calendar of content that you want to push out based on particular day, month, or week. Let's say you have a content calendar where you say, okay, today I will create content about social media management and I will publish them on Wednesday, uh, publish a, a, a YouTube content creation on Friday. Uh, you already have a content calendar that you work with. So it's very simple. You understand the name explains it content calendar. You have to understand what it is, how it helps your channel. It helps you not to burn out. If you have a content calendar, you usually know what to reflect back on and you know, pick the title and then regurgitate and create the content ASAP. You have to master you know, developing a content calendar. And sub step number three is actually learning and understanding what a YouTube content roadmap is or yeah what a youtube content roadmap is and it's important to your youtube channel a youtube content roadmap is somehow more like your youtube content strategy because it's more like a guide that equally walk you through the process down the line till you hit your desired goal so roadmap same as strategy some kind of so that's just it then number number four is actually learning what youtube content presentation strategy is how do you present content to people matters a lot like me I'm talking to you now. I know most people think I talk very fast, but I, to me, I don't think I talk very fast. I think my speed of, you know, talking is moderate. How you present your content matters a lot. How do you talk to camera? Uh, you, are you the funny type? So you need to, body language is necessary as a YouTube content creator to keep your audience engaged. Just keep them there, keep them watching till the end of your video, okay? So understand what content presentation strategy is. You need to be very good at that. I'll talk more about that in this channel, okay? I'm just showing you the steps you need to follow. So pick a pen, write it down as we learn, okay? Then moving on to step number five is actually learning what YouTube content marketing is and how to create one for your channel. Every YouTube content creator don't only want to make money from ad revenue. You equally want to make money from other sources like affiliate marketing, you know, selling your own merchandise, you know, collab collabs, um, brand deals and so on and so forth. So that's why you need to be on a very specific niche, narrowed down on sub niches in order for those brand deals to come, you know, affiliate sales to come because it's when you are very good and you have claimed authority in a specific niche, that's when people trust you enough to buy a product that you are selling because you need to understand that um, um, authority 
is what you know brings um, loyalty. If you have an authority on a specific need, people will be loyal to you. They want to learn from you. They want to you know listen to you. They will even want to buy from you at any cost. Okay, so you have to learn what YouTube marketing strategy is all about. Aside of uploading and making money from ad revenue. There are equally other ways of making money as a YouTube content creator with your YouTube content. Okay, so that's just it. Then moving on to step number six is learning and understanding what YouTube packaging strategy is all about. What is YouTube packaging strategy? How do you package your content in terms of thumbnail? Yeah, your thumbnail is what really packages your content. Your thumbnail needs to be very good. That's what packaging of content is all about. Package your content very well so that it will look enticing and attractive and that's it. You push it out, people will click and they watch. Then moving on to step number five which is actually get monetized. I know that every YouTube content creator wants to get monetized because uh, hey, I started a YouTube channel because I was broke, I dropped out of college, I don't have money, my parents are broke, I don't have this, that's why I have to start a YouTube channel, no problem. At the end of the day, you like to get monetized in order to start making money. But do not forget, after monetizing, the journey do not end there. But nevertheless, the requirement for monetizing a YouTube channel, I think they dropped the requirement recently, but that's for, I think, super chats and all of those stuff. But the real traditional AdSense monetization requirement is still 4,000 watch time hour and, you know, 1,000 subscribers. But if you want to super chat and all of those stuff, I think they reduce it to 500 subscribers and um, 3,000 watch time hour. But that's not what I'm going for. I don't think of super chat for now. Let's focus on the real AdSense monetization because that's where the real deal and the real juice of making money on YouTube really is outside maybe brand deals and affiliate sales depending if your channel have you know um, grown to a reasonable stage so you have to understand that um, you need to meet up with each requirement and even one video can help your channel to get monetized 10 video can help your channel to get monetized put together that's why you really need to learn how to put out good content so that people will watch and engage with you give you enough watch time hour and you get monetized they subscribe if they like what you're doing they subscribe and that's how you get monetized if you hit the monetization requirement threshold YouTube will notify you immediately. As soon as they notify you, you accept, they welcome you, and you're already monetized. You turn on all of the ads on your video, and that's how you start making money from Google ad revenue on a daily basis. YouTubers make money every day of their life, okay? So getting monetized is easy now. You've known the step. Then um, that's for it. Then step number six, which is actually the last step, is to scale. Yes, YouTube, content creation works in two other steps which is actually taking YouTube as a hobby or as a business if you really want to scale let's say you want to scale you have to consider or you have to start treating your YouTube channel as a business that's when content strategy comes in content calendar comes in content roadmap comes in you need to put all of these things together in order to actually you know turn your YouTube channel to a business or a brand that will you know, grow very big into maybe a, a company just like me. I have a very big plan of turning my YouTube channel into a, YouTube, a very big company that helps people make money online sustainably. I don't just want to help people make money online. I want you to make money online sustainably. You keep on making the money. Like every now and then, even when you're on vacation, you're making money. When you're on holidays, you're making money. You're sleeping, you're making money. That is my goal. I don't mind helping as many people that comes my way, as many interested viewers, as many interested subscribers. I am willing and ready to help you through the grind process and you know till you hit success okay so that's it step number six is to scale you really need to scale treat your youtube channel as a business have a goal have a plan have a purpose for your channel that is how you really scale that's when the big deals start coming in and that's when you start getting deals from companies from other bigger companies other bigger brands because they now believe that you are now a trusted brand as well so that's it guys i believe I, this content helped you a lot um as regard you know the steps to follow for YouTube content creation journey as a beginner. Please, if you don't understand everything I am explained in this video, you have every right of, you know, rewinding the video and watching it all over again and, you know, get all of the information. Pick a pen, jot down. Until meet again, my name is Sirimans Daniel Anthony. I love you all. I believe you all love me too. But for now, bye-bye and peace.